Hello, everybody. I'm Ed Koch. Remember me? Hi, everybody. I'm Ed Koch. Thank you all. I was once mayor of New York City. What a great city. Pretty soon, we'll all have the chance to head for the polls and choose our next president. You know, I'm known for saying, how am I doing? How am I doing? Morning, ma'am. How am I doing? Hi. How am I doing? Hi. The fact is, all of us are doing better because of the leadership of Barack Obama. And I'm proud to stand with President Obama because he's listened to the Jewish community and proven himself a true friend of Israel. I was really proud to hear the president talk in the final debate about his unbreakable support for Israel. Israel is a true friend. It is our greatest ally in the region. And if Israel is attacked, America will stand with Israel. I've made that clear throughout my presidency. And to talk about how his trip to Israel moved him to do everything he could to protect Israel's security. I went to Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum there, to remind myself the nature of evil and why our bond with Israel will be unbreakable. And I'd hope my opinion would be enough for you, but I'm joined in my confidence by guys you might know, like Defense Minister Ehud Barak, who has said he can hardly remember a better period of American support. And like so many in the Jewish community, I was moved by the president's speech at the United Nations in support of Israel, the strongest statement of its kind ever made by a United States president. America's commitment to Israel's security is unshakable. Our friendship with Israel is deep and enduring. And so we believe that any lasting peace must acknowledge the very real security concerns that Israel faces every single day. I'm confident President Obama will continue his unambiguous commitment to the Jewish state in his second term, building on his record of leadership by preventing Iran from developing a nuclear weapon and funding the Iron Dome missile defense system that is saving Israeli lives. I went down to the border towns of Starot, which had experienced missiles raining down from Hamas. And I saw families there who showed me where missiles had come down near their children's bedrooms. And I was reminded of what that would mean if those were my kids, which is why as president, we funded an Iron Dome program to stop those missiles. I'm also standing with President Obama because he is the clear best choice on domestic policy. While Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan want to take us back to the failed policies that led to the worst financial crisis in a generation, President Obama knows we need to build our economy from the middle class out. While Mitt Romney would pay for new tax cuts for the wealthy by increasing taxes on the middle class, President Obama would continue to fight for a fairer tax system that asks everyone to pay their fair share. Those aren't just American values, they're Jewish values too. And while President Obama believes, as I do, that we have a responsibility to look out for one another in tough times, Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan would throw up their hands and say, you're on your own. Their extreme plans would dramatically weaken our social safety net by turning Medicare into a voucher program and cutting funding for Medicaid. For those reasons, and so many more, I'm looking forward to casting my ballot for President Obama, and I hope you will join me. Go to jewishamericans.barackobama.com to learn how you can get involved.